more than anticipation for Godzilla and Kong. And you know what? I feel like it's gonna be not just one of the best MonsterVerse movies, but one of the most amazing movies of all time. But apparently, according to Danger Will, this movie will be heartbreaking. Let's watch the video and find out why. There we have this beautiful creature. Who is this, guys? Tell me, who is this? <laughs> of course, it's me. Kong's kind engaged in a brutal war with Godzilla's species. The battlefield, the hollow world. Yo, why do you guys think the war started in the first place? That almost wiped out each species. The Titanus Kongs were forced to flee to Skull Island, where they found safe haven with their followers, the Dumb. Iwi tribe. How many of us they survived though? For hundreds of years in relative peace. Yo! I want a movie about the history of Kongs. Don't you guys want that? That would be a sick movie. Small and expanding their territory. Maybe not even a movie, but a comic, right? The skull crawlers. And oh my god, I hate the skull crawlers. It was a bloodbath. The skull crawlers massacred Kong's friends and family, but his parents. How is that even possible? Skull crawlers are tiny. Him, I guess I'm much bigger than all my family. The cost of their lives, leaving him as the last remaining member. Damn, that is sad. I'm gonna Kong tear up. To this case is just gonna make me tear up for my own parents. And experienced from years of combat, although it never healed the pain from seeing his parents die. Yo, Kong danger was chill, bro. Fear of being alone, my guy wants me to start crying right now. <laughs> as he potentially blames himself for his parents' death. As far as we knew, nah, I don't blame myself. What is this guy on about? Kongs, that was until now. Ooh. Where it's been revealed that another lives in the Yo, imagine they reveal that this guy is the one that killed my parents. And Kong is imminent. Today we're going to discuss why this will have heartbreaking implications for Godzilla and Kong, the new empire. Yo, do you guys think I will die at the end of this movie? I'll be honest, I do not think so. You know why? Because they need me to make some money channel, <laughs> of their movies, right? There's no way they're gonna kill me. The channel, then follow the link here and they might kill Godzilla though, like he, he had a lot of movies, right? He's been living for millions of years, I guess it's okay if he dies. I'm just kidding by the way, apparently me and Godzilla are friends now, so I can't diss him anymore. allow us to get to know what's going on in the Titan's head. Whether that's the moment Ford Brody makes eye contact with an injured Godzilla, or where Gia calms down a panicking Kong with a single touch, they've all Yo, that was a the cute moment. feel like real, tangible characters. And with Godzilla and Kong, we have evidence telling us that we'll get to know Kong more than ever, and the reality of the film will be incredibly heartbreaking. Since Kong Skull Island, we've seen that he longs to discover more of his kind, to know that he truly isn't alone. He was raised in isolation and never knew Damn, a world bro. where Kongs had <laughs> that is a sad picture. societies that were alphas of a vast hollow earth. We've seen how he longs to meet other members of his kind when he sits to drink some water by the river. But before he does so, he looks upon his own reflection. This is the only way Kong can see his own kind. And you can just see the sadness in his face. Oh, chill with the sadness, the yo. Where he can actually touch the hands of those just like him. Another example. Yo, DJ Villa is Loki roasting me right now. The aura glowing beautifully in the sky. We go from seeing Kong mercilessly defending his territory to just thinking. It tells us. No, but it's true though. Like you know how lonely it is back in Skull Island. Tiny island he calls home. Where he spends his time alone. Where's all my brothers at? You know, where's all my homies? trait is continued in Godzilla vs. Kong when Kong confides in Gia, the only one that truly understands him. But still, she's not a Kong. Yeah, come on, bro. That's why I love Gia. She's my homie. The only way Gia managed to convince him to go willingly was by saying his family could be down there. And then he jumped at the simple idea that there may be more of his kind down there. He was willing to risk it all. Yo, for a guess what? None of one, no one was down there. Kong comes and she lied to me. I can't believe it. Ancestors, where ghosts of the Titan War can be seen. We witness the war zone filled with. Do you guys think there's any Kongs in it? I mean, except for Oranga Kong, right? I don't know if it's Orangutan, Oranga Kong, whatever he is. I don't think he's a Kong species, though. These halls were populated by his kind, but Kong doesn't look discouraged. It's a huge unexplored world, and he's certain there's someone out there. But what Kong doesn't know is there is someone. But the twist is, 
This Kong isn't Ooh. friendly. Yo, there's no way this guy's a Kong, though, right? It's revealed in the teaser that this Kong is a psychotic predator that hunts titans and humans alike. Man, imagine wanting for your whole life to meet your own species, and the first guy you meet is a murderer. Like, come on, boy, you couldn't have been, you couldn't have just been normal. What is wrong with this guy? that he isn't the last of his kind after all. But the reaction from this orangutan-like titan will be the polar opposite. He would want to- Damn, I was gonna crush all my hopes and dreams. Just another I hate him already, man. What's wrong with this election? guy? Kong would be left confused and heartbroken. The first Kong relative he's met since his parents' passing wouldn't want to embrace him and reconnect, but instead would want to kill him. His one life goal, the thing he's truly wanted the most, would become his worst nightmare as he's faced with the impossible task of facing off against one of his own. All that isolation, that loneliness, has been for nothing as his expectations of meeting another Kong would be crushed. This man, would be a heartbreaking experience. I never thought about it from Kong this perspective, but, but man, this guy's just gonna destroy my, all my hopes and dreams like that. Come on now. From the inexperienced teen in Skull Island to the bearded warrior in Godzilla vs. Kong. We've shared private and intimate moments with Kong. <laughs> Yo, chill danger, Will. You haven't shared any intimate moments with me. Happy. So for us to have to see this crushing moment firsthand will be devastating. A tragedy of Shakespearean proportions. <laughs> This is why the new empire could be the most personal, darkest, and heartbreaking film in the monsterverse. Getting defeated by your mortal enemy is one thing, but seeing your long-lost family wanting to take your life, that's an entirely different beast altogether. However the problem is solved, it's not going to be easy for Kong to process, and the event could completely change this titan as we know it, and that's something I don't think I'm ready for. When the film comes out, remember, it's okay to cry. Kong is our hero, and in the end, I'm sure he'll be okay. The I will definitely be okay. Past, unexplored wilderness, and chances um, you know what? Are there are I don't even think it's going to be that sad. I will just destroy him and be the king of the hollow earth. Godzilla and Kong the New Empire releases March 2024, which is when all these mysteries will be answered. And I just cannot wait 2024. for that. That is a whole year from now. I just found out about this release date. Oh my god. We'll have to wait a whole year for this to release. And brings about the new phase of Titans. The New Empire looks to be taking everything to the next level. The horror, the emotions, the action, all will be turned up to 11. And it could very well become the best MonsterVerse film yet. Not to set expectations high or anything. Give this video a Yo, you said it way too high. I expect it to be a masterpiece. And you know what? It is going to be a masterpiece. Just because I'm in the movie. Yo, that was a sick video. You know what? I actually do think it might be pretty sad. I don't think it's going to be that sad, but it's definitely going to pull on some emotional strings, you know? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video and peace!